You're watching Unrelent Gaming. This is Beerus, the god of destruction. Make sure you subscribe to Unrelent Gaming and push the like button for me, or else I'll hakai you from existence. Oh, and do make sure to watch the entire video all the way through. And to follow Unrelent Gaming on both Instagram and Twitter. Please, enough. On to the video. So Dragon Ball Super Manga Chapter Number 79 is without question going to be a make or break moment for both our heroes and Granola, especially when considering the odds now and seeing how Gas is presumably the strongest within Universe 7, there have been so many people within the community voicing their opinions on whether or not Gas is going to be the one to put down Granola, Goku, and Vegeta by himself, whereas then you have others that believe differently in thinking that either Granola, Goku, or Vegeta are going to be the ones to put Gas down for the count, and to that I I've gone on record to say that even if Gas right now is the strongest with Granola going into this battle by using his full power, by the end of it I don't see Granola being the one to get the job done at least by himself without the assistance of both Goku and Vegeta. But before we dive any further into this video, if you just so happen to be new to this channel and of course have a love and passion for all things Dragon Ball related, then I do encourage you guys to go on over and smash that subscribe button and turn on all notifications to never miss a single video posted onto this channel, as well as also giving this video a big fat thumbs up by slapping that like button down below if you guys are simply excited to see how this is going to go down because joining me right now for the first time on the channel to tackle this subject is a good friend of mine and up and coming YouTuber that goes by the name of JD with the degrees. Now JD, me and you have talked about this on Discord, me and you have openly had discussions with everybody else on Discord and I firmly believe that gas is going to be granola. There is no way that granola, if he once was considered to be the strongest, is going to have any sort of chance against gas if gas presumably is supposed to be beyond anything that our heroes are capable of in this moment in time, of course, with Goku and Vegeta being tired and with granola kind of lacking that understanding on performing the moves that he's doing, as of course, based on his own self proclamation by telling Goku and Vegeta, hey, I don't know what it is that I'm doing. I'm just doing it as we go, whereas Gas seems to be a weapon-wielding warrior. So, going into Dragon Ball Super Manga Chapter Number 79 and beyond, what do you think the outcome is going to be involving Gas and Granola? Because we can only assume that the fight between Gas and Granola is going to take place, Granola is going to go all out, and that really kind of raises a lot of questions for me to ask, is Gas going to use his full power? So, by the end of it, when looking at only Gas and Granola, what do you see the outcome being by the end of this battle? I think, and this is based off the fact that I just don't know if Gas is the strongest in the universe. I think he got the first part of the, the wish that we've seen from chapter 70 when Granola asked to be the strongest. The dragon said, I can increase you your power. You can get stronger, but you can't cap out beyond your latent potential. And then in that same chapter, that's when he introduced the condition the condition that you know if you trade your life force if you give up something then i can make you the strongest in the universe uh, apart from the gods and so it's very possible that elec made that same thing for gas and so that's why he physically changed and all of that so while gas and the heaters they think that you know they, they think gas is the, the strongest in the universe that may not be the case so i think Granola, just from the theme of the arc it's been all about him this is his quest for revenge this is his quest to atone for the, the sins that were done against the Cerulean's and the mischief that's been caused by the heaters. And so I think the fact that Toyotaro and Toriyama are setting up this fight, which I don't think will conclude next chapter, I think it will be at least two chapters. I think Granola is not only going to hold his own, but I think he's going to prove that he still might be the strongest in the universe. And I think that plays a lot into what Vegeta told Granola when they were fighting in chapter 74 and 75, which is that while Granola may be the strongest, he didn't have the experience to back up that power to make the greatest use of it. And so I think now that Granola has experience with fighting the Saiyans and he has a better, you know, like a clear head now, he's he's not just, you know, in the heat of battle with nothing but 
you know, this lust for revenge that, you know, kind of blocking him from really realizing the greater threat. I think now we're going to see a more calculable granola and we're going to see those long range moves. We're going to see the arrow. We're going to see all kinds of stuff, maybe even new abilities that suit granola's fighting style. And I think he's going to edge out gas assuming gas is not the strongest in the universe and as far as goku and vegeta getting involved i don't think goku and vegeta are going to get involved at least not till the end of the chapter unless granola gets defeated or is you know maybe oil and mackie jump in to kind of help gas if he's starting to get defeated that's the only way i can see goku and vegeta getting involved with this fight i think they both recognize that this is granola's battle you know the arc is granola the survivor not goku and vegeta's adventures so it should be granola versus gas see and i agree with you i think that goku and vegeta aren't going to step in immediately i think that they're going to try and find out where or who was using the dragon balls i don't think that maki and oil are going to just sit idly by i don't see them really making a big difference in this because i mean for the love of god what exactly can you really expect to see come from maki and oil even against a tired goku and vegeta you know what i mean you can only assume that even while they're tired they would destroy these two no problem right but when it comes down to granola i do think that sure he might be able to hold his own but how long is that really going to last him you know what i mean is he going to really go all out by trying to conquer this new so-called strongest and at the same time if gas isn't really using his full power either and he's still able to kind of contend against a full power granola then what does that tell you once gas inevitably uses that full power to overwhelm granola at that point which is why i think that it'll be good narratively to include goku and vegeta afterwards because not only would granola kind of see that these two actually meant what they said and for them to fight alongside granola who mind you wanted to kill them not long ago it would really set the standard and precedent to say okay maybe i truly was wrong in how i went about this because these two although we fought nearly to the death have now saved my life and now are fighting alongside me saiyans fighting alongside a Sorellian, you know which also kind of begs the question what are goku and vegeta going to do as gas fights granola are they going to either look for a lack or are they going to somehow jump in to say yeah this kid really can't do it this gas individual is spawning weapons and he's able to counter his assassination abilities and stuff we need to step in so despite what happens going forward what do you think the outcome is going to be once of course this narrative further progresses itself with gas versus granola despite who ends up winning that fight well it depends on i'm assuming this fight's going to be two maybe three chapters it's definitely not wrapping up next chapter and, it, and depending on whatever party you know edges out which alec is going to make a second wish so something's gonna happen to where they're alerted, like, you know, if the, if the sky's gonna go dark, they're gonna immediately think another wish is being made, and then maybe Goku and Gita or Granola, if either of all of them are still standing in some way, or if, if Naito does some kind of last minute healing, or some kind of interdiction occurs to where all three of them are still able to move from that battlefield, whether Gas wins or whether Granola wins, it's gonna be to where either someone's gonna prevent them, whether, you know, Gas, you know, throws in a last ditch effort to prevent them from you know ruining Alec's schemes or it's already too late and Alec makes whatever wish he makes and then that's what's going to cause this fight to go or this this whole part of the arc to go into some crazy you know whether they leave planet serial or whether they go to earth or back to the heater base something's going to happen to where they have to regroup somewhere else so if, assuming that if gas wins then yeah there's going to be some kind of intervention that occurs but if granola wins to me it makes more sense that somehow granola is going to overcome whatever weakness gas has or whatever seriousness that he that he has with his fighting abilities he's going to overcome that because i think he learned from vegeta i think his fight with vegeta allowed granola to figure out some of his own faults with how he fights with his newfound abilities and we're going to see a more experienced or tactical granola this time around so whether whether gas even if gas is the strongest if we find out if it's clear as day next chapter that gas is the strongest and he starts pulling out hakai or things like that i think granola is still going to win just like how vegeta was kind of besting granola even though granola was the strongest back in you know chapter 74 and parts of chapter 75 but i think that same kind of thing's going to happen to where he may be the strongest or right? if gas is the strongest you know that's all fine and dandy but and, and we know gas is a more experienced fighter that's been established something's going to happen to where granola uses the other philosophy of battle which is like okay i have experience i have techniques i have things that i 
can use to my advantage to, to beat someone who may be stronger than me power wise. We're going to see that with Granola because he's on the other, you know, the other aisle, if you will. Oh, no, absolutely. I don't think that this arc is going to come to a close yet. I think that there are so many other elements to this story that need to kind of be flushed out a bit more, like involving Alec and perhaps maybe his second wish, third wish, because we know the Cerulean Dragon Balls can be used, you know, a lot more frequently than the Namekian Dragon Balls and the Earth's Dragon Balls because they have a much shorter time for them to be used instead of just waiting X amount of time for them to actually be used for a purpose, you know? So I think what I don't want to see is Alec betray the heaters. I think it's very common and it would be very different for Alec to kind of not betray his people because if he does, it'll give me Bojack vibes, it'll give me Frieza vibes, it'll give me moral vibes because all of these head honchos seem to have a problem with their own people sometimes and as soon as they end up in some way finding a way to get rid of them, they get rid of them. So I don't want to see that, but I do want to see Alec make a wish and doing something with the Cerulean Dragon Balls that causes more concern for our heroes to say, oh crap, the sky is dark again, we need to find out what's happening, but while all of this is going down, we get to see how Gas is kind of preventing them from getting to Alex, so he ends up fighting them, and I think that to see visually mastered Ultra Instant Goku and Ultra Eagle Vegeta team up with a full-powered Granola would be insane, and only then do I think would they be able to take Gas down or at least do something to where Gas is just simply overwhelmed because you're dealing with three different caliber of fighters, you know what I mean? And each of them brings something very different to the table, which is going to be a concern for Gas because how in the world is he supposed to do anything to kind of avoid this if he's fighting three of them at the same time? So perhaps maybe the reason they didn't give us anything with Bardock is because even though Gas wasn't said to be weak against him, perhaps maybe the way Bardock had beaten Gas was through a long-ranged attack, perhaps, because we don't really know if Little Gas at the time was able to spawn weapons or he was able to do anything of the sorts. Perhaps maybe Bardock was keeping his distance and he was attacking from like a longer range. Maybe that's going to be the key for victory to Granola if he ends up beating him. But at the same time, what I wanted to ask you is what do you think the purpose of Alec is going to be? Is he perhaps going to wish to become the strongest himself, which I think would be very redundant and I think a lot of people would be kind of pissed off because then it just becomes an arc where this guy becomes the strongest and that guy becomes the strongest and this guy becomes the strongest oh wait no and then that guy becomes the strongest so it kind of becomes a little played out so what are your thoughts on Alec what do you think is going to go down definitively involving said parties do you see gas losing kind of embarrassing himself just like he did before against Bardock to where Alec is like all right well you were supposed to be my muscle and you lost again you're a failure so do you see him kind of disposing of him or doing something of the sorts to kind of wrap this up because I think there's a catch and I think that we're bound to see a lot of twists and turns but what do you think is going to happen as we enter Dragon Ball Super Manga chapter number 79 and make our way into the new year which is 2022 beginning in January with Dragon Ball Super Manga chapter number 80 and beyond. We're about 11 chapters into the Granola arc and the Moral arc was 25 chapters if I recall. So we're almost halfway assuming it's going to be of any similar length to the moral art. We also have the Dragon Ball Superhero movie announcements imminent in December at Jump Festa, where we may see the poster, another trailer, and even the release date. I think us finding out the release date will give an insight into whether this arc will wrap up around the summertime or continue on until the, the winter break. Something still has to happen where some twist will occur, which will definitely be Elec, it will definitely be the second wish. And the question is, is what would Alec wish for? What will Alec do going forward after this phase of the arc with Gas versus the Saiyans and Granola? What would Alec's wish be that would be so great that it, you know, causes Goku, Vegeta, and, and Granola to be, you know, in a situation where they're outclassed, outmatched, whatever. Something has to happen with Alec's wish. And I don't think, while I agree with you, the heaters are very similar to, to Bojack. They're, they're very similar to Bojack's clan. And as you know, in that movie, Bojack ended up using his clans as as pawns. And he even killed Zanya, you know, just to get a clean shot, a, a, you know, a cheap shot into Gohan. So Ella gives off those same vibes as we saw in the chapter. That face he gives off at the end of the chapter, you know, when they go off to go find the sands, that's the face of a schemer. And that's the face of someone who, you know, while he may 
have this, you know, brotherly love to to Gas. Like he treats Gas like, oh, you're the best in the family. You're the only one that could surpass Frieza. You know, I have no doubts about your strength. You know, he said that repeatedly, repeatedly. But the thing is, Alec is a manipulator. I mean, I think this is one of his character, like, you know, features that they kind of like were trying to build on. Is Gas is very. He's like a child. He looks like a child. And what do we know about children? They're kind of like innocent. Like they're very easily placed in a situation where they're left vulnerable. You know, they can be talked into doing stuff just because they have a sensible brother or a sibling or, or, or a, you know, a parent. And so Gas gives off those vibes. He gives off this guy that's like, everybody believes in me and, I, and no one doubts me and I can do this and blah, 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 this and that. That's, that's what Gas gave off pre-Wish, right? And now, you know, even before the wish was made, he's like, he told Alec, you know, I, I'm fine the way I am. Right, he has his own confidence in his own abilities. But Alec, because Alec is a businessman, he doubts that. He, he, you know, business is, is, is all about hedging risks. And so, as we saw earlier, or we, we didn't see the Bardock versus Gas flashback, but we know from the flashback, Gas lost. Bardock, a low class Saiyan warrior, was able to defeat Gas, who was the strongest in that situation. And paralleling the fact that the, that Granola, the so called strongest in the universe, while he was definitely stronger than Goku and Vegeta, it was it was heavily foreshadowed and shown clear as day and some of the feats that granola did the problem is is granola he, the saiyans they held their own they train post wish when they when they eventually met up against granola and so that gap may have been slightly closed and so granola like his last ditch effort was to sacrifice himself to kill vegeta and assumingly would have killed goku in the blast we don't know so the point is it, it took everything Granola had just to beat Sans, who he should have already been completely stronger than. And so Alec, he saw that. In Chapter 75, he saw that the Sans were still fighting and he was impressed. I think at that time, he realized that if whatever wish he's going to do, whatever plans they had in place, they needed a change. And so, like, if you look at the way Alec was manipulating gas, you're like, oh, don't worry, I'm going to make this wish for you. It's all going to be, you're, you, everything is hedging on you. You're the, you're the key to this plan. I think that Alec did something to make gas the strongest. We just don't know if it's, if he just got a, a power amp similar to like a potential unleashed or something like that, or rather he really is the strongest. But I think Alec knows that the Sands may, you know, be a thorn in his side and they may do something just like they did against Granola and, you know, prevent that plan from coming to complete fruition. And so Alec's grand wish, his second wish is going to be knowledge. The question is, what could he wish for that in the realm of knowledge that would be a problem for the for the Saiyans and for Granola? Like, what would knowledge do against someone who has Ultra Instinct or has Hakai, right? And has all these crazy abilities that they got from the wish. That is that remains to be seen. It's difficult to say on the question of OG73 and whether he was used for the wish. Um, as you know, it looks like OG73 can do two things. He can either copy powers, as we saw for 30 minutes up to three, or he can make backups. And he made a backup of Moral's power when he was in his fully rejuvenated state, and that stayed with him for way longer than 30 minutes. So that power may still be stored in OG73. And what is that power? It's Genki. Right? So it's life force, it's life energy. So all Toriyama and Toriyama have to do is remember that, and then Alec can use that whole Genki thing that Moro's power kind of represents and would have been stored in OG73. And they can use that as a way to bypass the conditions of, well, you gotta give up X amount of your lifespan. Or Alec being a traitorous guy, like, he, like you, you seem to agree with, he could have actually sacrificed not only Gas's lifespan, uh, but he may have also sacrificed the lifespans of Oil and Mackie. So it would be really cool, I said this in my review, it would be really cool to have like a, 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 a Avengers Infinity War scene where like, you know, Oil and Mackie start to like disappear or rapidly age as a result of their lifespan being used up. It would be a cool and pretty dark kind of scene. So I hope to see something like that. But I think that Alec is going to make a second wish. It's going to be knowledge oriented. It's going to be something like either Zuno knowledge or an OG73 army because that's been their goal is to take over Frieza's army. The question is, do they know that Frieza's army is kind of fodder? You know, the Genyu force is gone, the Saiyans are gone, right? So unless one of the Zuno questions that they asked kind of was related to their army plan, um, I'm assuming they have some plan of getting an army, whether it's Frieza's army or possibly the OG73 army. Um, the question is, how do they make those armies you know, competent enough and strong enough to take on the Sands, that remains to be seen. But point is, Alex gonna make a second wish, it's gonna be knowledge oriented, and it's gonna extend the arc for some time. Gas is not the final boss, he's not gonna carry this arc for more than a couple chapters, and I think Gas is gonna realize 
that he was a pawn. You know, like, you know, I've meant, I mentioned this before, the heaters are like the mafia and they give off mafia vibes. And even though they demand loyalty and they, you know, they, they don't snitch on one another, right? Like, you know, with like real life kind of um, similarities. The point is, Alec is a businessman and business is sometimes more important than his family. And we saw that with the flashback with, with Gas and, and Granola. Kid Granola was a famed bounty hunter. And so Alec, even though he realizes that Granola could be a problem in the future, he's decided to take a shot with using Granola as one of his grunts. And that pissed off Gas because Gas wants to be the guy that's like the most valuable person on the team. And so that shows you that Alec's the guy that's gonna, you know, scheme behind his most loyal sub, uh, you know, subordinates. So I think Gas is going to survive a couple chapters. He may have an edge. He may not have an edge. Something's going to happen to where he gets defeated. And then Ellie makes the second wish. The arc is going to be extended for a couple chapters, whether it's till the summer or whether it's till December. But something like that's going to happen. And I think it's going to ultimately decide whether this arc is good for me and probably a few others. See, now, about Dragon Ball Super Superhero, I don't think that the movie itself is going to kind of force the manga to wrap up because... If you guys remember, when Dragon Ball Super Broly was coming out, and when that became a thing, we knew that it took place after the events of the Tournament of Power, but at the same time, during the initial release of Dragon Ball Super Broly, which was in December of 2018 for Japan, and all over the world in January of 2019, during that time of November, going into December, and then going into 2019, the moral arc started, and we knew right then and there that the events of the moral arc took place after the T.O.P. and after Dragon Ball Super Broly. So I don't think that's going to be kind of like a big deal because I could still kind of see the movie and the manga overlapping where you kind of already know that Superhero takes place after Granola, but it still doesn't ruin anything I would say about what happens with Granola and the events involving the heaters outside of the heroes winning and that's pretty much that you know what i mean but when going back to og 73i i don't see how they're going to use him in a way it would be surprising if alec either merged with him or like you pointed out wished for an army but just like frieza i don't see og 73 being a huge factor in this story only because unless the writers had forgotten about him he served his purpose alec wanted to see what you know kind of data he was possessing which they did they found it they saw the fight with moro they saw the fight with goku and vegeta and maris and all of these things so if knowledge is what they're after then they kind of got that out of him and there's really not any more purpose for og73 to serve in this story unless he kind of brings him back right he's rejuvenated and he's fully healed up and then from there we have either OG73 himself as a singular fighter helping Gas, or if he wishes for like a massive army to kind of, you know, sprout about for his army from there to take over in a way. But let us know your thoughts in the comment section below about Alex wishes, and if you guys believe that perhaps maybe he's going to betray his own so-called family, the fight involving Gas and Granola, who do you think is going to win, and is Goku and Vegeta going to kind of play a role in this by assisting granola in seeing maybe a three-on-one scenario or a two-on-one scenario let me know your thoughts in the comment section below also be sure to go on ahead and check out jd's channel jd with the degrees i will leave his channel link located down in the description box below he covers philosophy buddhism taoism all that stuff if you guys want to kind of learn more about eastern philosophy then that's the guy for you. Again, thank you all so much for watching. JD, thank you so much for joining me. If you guys enjoyed, give this video a big fat thumbs up by smashing that like button down below. Tune back in for more. Hit that subscribe button if you guys are new, and I'll be seeing you all down in the comment section below. Have a great day, everybody, and take care. Peace. This is the Galactic Emperor of the Universe, and of course, I'm here to tell you to subscribe to Unrelent Gaming. Also, follow Unrelent Gaming on these social media platforms to stay connected at all times. And if you don't, then very soon you will all be dead. <laughs> oh, did someone say unrelent gaming? Oh my god. The fuck's up, on? Put on some clothes! Well, why don't you put on any clothes? What? I don't need clothes! Jesus Christ, that's huge! <laughs> what, Broly? Freezer. Uh oh. Prepare to die! <laughs> <laughs> Get over here! Tell these mortals that I am the biggest Unreal Gaming fan!
This is my moment. I'm a part of his notification squad. Universe 7 can have all the fun. I just want the food. And don't forget to leave a comment on this video. Show some love for the best community on YouTube. <laughs> K -k 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 <laughs>